Today, March 7th, marks the beginning of Torben's ninth month in prison. There has been much activity since our last update, and we wanted to report on some recent developments. First off, last week, Torben's attorneys filed an appellate brief before the Board of Appeals in Virginia. The 50-page document details the errors in the immigration judge's decision to not grant asylum to Torben. The appeal articulates a variety of points, but puts special emphasis on how the judge actually failed to address Torben's primary claim or reason for not being able to return to his home country. The general public is not aware of this because they have not had access to the filings, but Torben's claim does not rely on the atrocious persecution he experienced in past, as many people on social media have incorrectly assumed. Torben's primary claim is based on an element of immigration law called the well-founded fear of future persecution. This has always been the case, but again, the general public would not know this since these aspects of his case are confidentially protected in his filings. There are important distinctions to be made here, but for legal reasons related to the ongoing immigration case, the details cannot be made public at this time. We do ask for your prayers as the higher court hears Torben's case and considers his appeal. Next, there has been what appears to be an ongoing campaign to sabotage the current work of Torben's ministry, the last Reformation. As recent as last week, someone tried to hinder a TLR training event in Europe using a creative method in which they made numerous false registrations with fake email accounts. As with most event planning, the registrations are a critical part of being able to anticipate how large a venue you need to secure, how many chairs to rent, how much food to plan for, and how many volunteers you need, amongst other things. So if there are 400 registrations, but 300 of them turn out to be false, that can put stress on the organization for obvious reasons. Torben dealt with this quite a lot when he came to the U.S. in 2019. Someone was going through the effort of creating hundreds of fake email addresses to reserve seats at TLR events. It got so bad they had to start limiting the number of seats that could be reserved per email address and required a refundable $10 deposit in order to get a ticket. Only then did things improve. The sheer volume of effort that has gone into trying to cripple TLR illustrates just how fixated and driven these adversaries are. Many people are asking who is behind this, but honestly, we just ask for you to pray that the Lord would reveal himself to those responsible and convict them to stop. Many of you have also been asking how Torben is doing. Well, he has been in prison for 255 days, and like anyone separated from their family, there are ups and downs. We are encouraged to report that Torben has recently experienced a fresh wave of supernatural joy and strength. He reports having tremendous clarity and excitement about what the Lord is doing in him and the other prisoners. He is actually planning to share a personal update in the coming days, which will be encouraging to many of you all. Of course, Torben desires to be free as soon as possible, but he also knows the Lord is the one that will say when and while there is progress being made in the effort to secure his release and clear his name, time behind bars always takes a toll. No one is immune to the unique pressures that come with captivity. We see that prison has been in a modality God has chosen to use as training and testing ground for many leaders throughout history. After all, three quarters of the New Testament was written from a prison cell. Torben's calling has always been to point people back to the book of Acts. It is a simple discipleship life which is led by the Holy Spirit where the kingdom of God's transforming and life-giving power shows up in all places where people are. His ministry was modeled after the early church and its leaders. And of course, many of those early leaders went to prison for their Christian faith. One of the hardest parts of wrongful imprisonment cases like this is what Torben's loved ones are going through. It is almost as if they are in prison alongside him. Torben's wife, Lena, has been the rock of their family while Torben has been away. Her strength and dedication is remarkable and inspiring. For those who do not know, Lena is a musician and singer, and she recently felt the Lord tell her to make a public declaration of her trust and faith in Jesus, even in the face of the injustice she is fighting against. The next day, she published a powerful YouTube video of herself worshiping God with her voice and guitar. In the spirit, it almost felt like a shofar was being blown from a hilltop before battle. The outpouring of love and support that came in from you all after that video was absolutely beautiful. Unfortunately, just a few days later, Lena was hospitalized. After eight months of fighting for her husband, her body had simply reached a point where it could not continue and she experienced a nervous breakdown. Our bodies are designed to communicate with us, and that is exactly what happened. 
She was released from the hospital and is now being cared for at home by family and friends. We share this not to cause alarm, rather in a spirit of transparency and honesty. We admit that this is very hard and recognize there is a very real spiritual battle around this entire story. So please, we need your prayers. Prayers for Torben. Prayers for his wife and family. Prayers for all the defense team. Prayers for the judges to have wisdom. And prayers for those who scheme against Torben and the last Reformation. Lastly, over the past few months, resources have become very limited and Torben's defense fund is almost depleted. At the same time, the case continues to expand. What was a sprint has become a marathon. Up until this point, the entire defense effort has been funded by the grace of God through public support. But people are fatigued, and we understand. The support is decreasing while the expenses are increasing. We have no other choice but to ask for help. Please prayerfully consider supporting Torben's Defense Fund at friendsoftorben.com. 100% of the donations to the National Christian Foundation Fund are being allocated to the effort to defend and free Torben. We are so grateful to all of you who have been making donations and are confident the Lord will continue to make a way. Thank you for taking time to listen today. We will be back soon with more updates.